when a radiator itself, by itself, is manufactured and it comes off an assembly line, that radiator needs to be cleaned out with the appropriate chemicals, basically polished on the inside so that there's no spurs, bits of metal, and all of that. If you don't do that, according to the experts in the UK, you will always have problems with that radiator. Okay, so with the MSI uh, issues, the 240R, 360R, and even the 120R in pre-built systems, if this has happened with those radiators, another possibility, you see, this is the coolant that came after the, out of the 240R after one month. pH 6.5, which loves corrosion of copper and bacteria growth. pH 6.5 is no good for the coolant solution, okay? That's after just one month. I took it out. I, I, I put in a clear, brand new solution, okay? 28% um, and... 10% is the most dilute, okay? So it was an ethylene glycol-based coolant um, from the UK. And after a couple months, I started to hear metallic clicking. So it wasn't air bubbles. So it didn't sound like bacteria was growing and releasing gases that were causing air bubbles. It actually sounds like clicking, metallic bits, solid bits hitting in the pump. Temp started to go up, okay? I couldn't render videos at the default frequencies of the 12700K anymore. So I went to my retailer, and if this were to happen to me again, if I had an issue with the AIO, I would go to my retailer and explain the problem, show proof of the temps, proof of purchase, etc., and get a different AIO made by a different company that you feel comfortable with. Now, I did that. I got a Corsair H100i Elite 240. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Okay, my temps are so low, they're unbelievably low. There's 128 fins per inch in that water block. So the pump is on the pump head, on the water, you know, in the water, part of the water block. Okay. I've had a Corsair AIO since 2017 on a different system. Never had a problem. Um, it is cooling as 7,700 non-K. Um, TDP is 65 watts, but I've never even seen it get up that high. Um, but it's worked great. Okay, no problems. Five years. So, I'm happy with Corsair. I know that they're um, good to their customers. That's what I hear, and I hear they use premium coolant in their AIOs. So, that's great. Okay. And I think the guarantee on the H100i is much longer than one year. I think it's three years, but I'd have to double check that. All right, enough about Corsair. Now, if you have some issues, don't just go in and tighten your water block, um, especially if you have an Intel CPU, because there's gold pins, there's metal pins there on the motherboard. And if you tighten them too much, you can bend those pins, you can break those pins and they don't work. So you can tighten it, it works, it works, it works. Temps go up, clogging, you've got to remove it. You remove it, 
you lose contact and you can't get the contact back again if they're broken, if they're bent, too many are bent. So just be careful, okay? You can check just to see if they're, they're, they're loose or something. You can just do a little finger tight, but you don't want to over tighten that at all. Okay. So there is no recall. There's apply for a swap. There's a product announcement. Go to MSI's websites. Okay, there's an international one. There is a USA one. They don't use the word recall anywhere on that apply for a swap page. So it says product announcement. A recall is when every single one is brought back that is known to be defected. And I've only heard of a few people having their AIOs be approved with their serial number on the apply for swap page. So if yours is not accepted, you can create a ticket. So again, go to retailer, try to get an AIO that is not an MSI. If you cannot do that, apply for a swap if serial number does not work. Create a ticket on the MSI website. Ask for a replacement AIO that is different model, okay? They have some newer ones now. Maybe they've learned how to make them. I don't know. Okay. I only want to help everybody, okay? I don't want these nightmares to happen to people. That's why I'm making this video, okay? Greg Salazar made another video. Greg Salazar is great. He's the only big player that I can see that's addressing this issue. If you'd like to um, see some more videos on technology, um, if you want to be updated on this AIO issue with MSI, um, all you have to do is subscribe and you get notified when those videos are ready. In fact, I've been asked by my subscribers to make another video on the 12700K. Uh, I've been doing a ser series of videos and um, they're quite interested in my results. And so I've done the testing and I just need to create that video now. So thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. And don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.